Well, good day, mechanics. Welcome back to Farm Mechanic Simulator. You guys are still enjoying this uh, little series here, so I guess we'll continue on with it. So, let's jump back into the shop. We're 66% completed. And let's see, I can't remember now what our last job was, but I think it was number 50? 51, I guess. Or 50, I can't remember. 51, yes. Okay, so the client is reporting that the combine is not threshing the grain. Help him solve the problem. Well, you might have to actually put some grain through it first. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Probably something back in here. Let's have a, a look-see. Condition check. Fortunately, with these, there's a lot of stuff you got to kind of take apart to get uh, examining stuff. But I'll be honest, this combine stuff, I like doing the tractor stuff a lot better. The combine stuff kind of, it's pretty pretty involved, we'll say. But uh, anyways, well, that seems good so far. Could be anything, you know, that's messing up. I think that stuff's probably all good. Uh, what about down this way now? No. That seems all right. Lots of stuff in here. Lots of stuff. Huh. Well, nothing so far. There's a belt there I missed, though. A couple belts. Well, so far everything there seems alright. I love how you can just ghost into the machine. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. Oh, let's go to the other side now. That'd be the wheels. Shouldn't be anything back there. That'd be engine. Tailgate. Tailgate. Oh, wow. This mouse is crazy. Let's check this side. Ah. Some problems there in the belt, and probably this big pulley. Yeah. Well, let's just check her all over here. That one's good. This one is good. The big expensive belt. It's probably all good. Let's just check her. That goes back to one way at the back. Check her all. So as we know, could be one little wee thing messed up. And that was good, and this one's good, and this one's probably good. The belt there, that dialer there, or tensioner if you will. I think anything higher, we'd have to go up into the engine. So I'm going to presume, assume, assume that this is the problem. So disassembly mode. Probably these new bearings. And then this pulley down here. How much did they give us for this one? Uh, 520. Okay. Oh, I gotta get used to my new shop. I just barely got used to the other one. <laughs> it's pretty much the same, but... <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Somehow you can repair a belt. That's interesting. There we go. Thresher parts are finished. Um, whoa, where am I going? I got stuck on the tailgate. All right. Wheel. 
bolted onto torques, torque specs. And the belt that somehow made it miraculously we fixed. All right, did that fix her? Oh, we're still missing something. Check the elements of the threshing, threshing mechanism. Did I miss something? Oh yes, I did. My bad. The big belt. Okay, that should be good now. Yay! I don't really like the combines, honestly. Combines are... I mean, they're a lot different, that's for sure, but uh, I like the tractor stuff more, but it is farm mechanic simulator. It's not just tractor, you know. Oh, here comes another one. <laughs> we'll probably play to 60 today, I guess. Do another 10 orders here. Client is reporting seized hubs in the combine. Help him. Ooh, that's not good. I presume... I presume in the, the wheels... Ugh. That's not a good thing. Let's just check this whole front end here. Alright, well, we'll take this all apart. Five million bolts. Don't want your wheels falling off, right? Okay, and I think it was a plural thing. Hubs. So, we'll check this side too. Whoop. Well, I guess we had to check that anyways. Let's check this. Oh, a seized hub. Needs the bearing serviced, I suppose. Alright, that hub off. Now, how much did they give us? 580, that's probably just for the fronts then. Oh, the other side again. I'm getting myself dizzy now. <laughs> okay, 13%. I guess we can repair it. Put new bearings to her. I had one big thing just to go <laughs> do them all at once, like they do in the factory. Save a lot of time. That hub and the last big wheel. Close enough. Okay. That one done. Repaired. Somewhat fairly simple, these ones. There's not a whole lot of elaborate stuff, I guess, in this game to really do. Like, you can't really get into, like, a whole engine rebuild and blah, 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 you know, and a lot of different stuff that you could probably get into. They didn't get too elaborate with that. So, uh, 53, the client is asking for damaged elements of the cabin to be replaced. Help him. 270. Okay, so that's not very much. Uh, around the other side. Which is probably like the steering wheel and the little knob thingies. That doesn't look damaged to me other than it's a funny color. The little knob's good there. Now that knob's hurting. How are his... Uh, Transmission thingy, thingies, whatever you call them, things here. <laughs> They're good. Uh, this will be all messed up, I bet. Oh, it's good. Oh, please don't have that one messed up. That's a big job taking that out. Oh, good. <laughs> Where am I going? Got to go back in here. Back in the cab. What about the steering wheel? It's definitely going to be messed up. No, it's good. 
Really? Oh, well, the button's messed up. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's take her off. Gotta get in there better. This is a different kind of weird repair. Most people wouldn't give her a rat's, you know what, about their gear shifting and crap. But anyways, he does, so we'll fix it for him. So the gear shafts we'll need. Well, that's just, we're just going to probably paint that. We're just going to paint that. That's got some dents in it. We're going to scratch, uh, sand it out, sorry, and uh, paint it. And that one we're painting. Simple. I don't know why he couldn't paint his own gear shafts. Anyways. We're getting paid for it. What do we care, right? Good to go. And the little knobby guy. Freshly painted. And this shift rod... And little knob jewel and the repainted driver plug. All right, is that a good job? Job done. Good job done. Out you go with your painted shifter stuff. All right, who is coming in next? Sounds like a combine. Yep, <laughs> combines. Client is asking for the great letter wheel to be replaced. Okay, well, we kind of already sort of did one of them. Now I just got to kind of remember which one it was, because I forget. Green envelope drive wheel will be that one there. No, maybe this one. There it is. Okay, we're going to probably have to do a fair bit of disassembly to get in there. Or maybe not. Yeah, we'll have to take the belt off for sure. Which means we'll probably have to take this all off. Yeah, all that red stuff has to come off. Okay, that's fun. So... Which means we got to take this belt off. Oh my goodness. Where am I going here? Oh my goodness. What the heck? No, I'm doing something wrong. It wants me to take the belt off. Okay, but to get this off, I gotta take this off. There. It just didn't want to select that for me, and I don't know why. Okay, and then the big housing has got to come off. It's a lot of disassembly for a uh, little gear thing here, but... Hidden bolt. I hate hidden bolts. I hate hidden bolts. Alright, so, let's see. Yeah, so this... This has to come off to get this off? Really? Come on. Alright, let's disassemble it. Dude's gonna have a lot of... money tied up in labor here, isn't he? Okay, now this belt. And this belt. And finally the gear that's... Oop. I think that's what was wrong with it anyways. Ah, uh, now we've got to find that gear. So 10% parrot. Yes. Everything else I think was alright. Oh boy, what a disassembly. Okay, assembly mode. No, that's not what we got to do first. Is it? I didn't think so. We gotta put our broken gear back on first, I believe. This isn't right.
Well, I guess it's right. I don't know. Didn't seem right, but... Alrighty. See, we're missing some here. Sure we are. Oh, no, it went with it. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. And... Uh, see, that belt kind of seems backwards to me, putting it on like that, but... Small tensioner. This needs a belt. Nope. Belt. Is that it? Oh. Okay, I thought that was other parts, but I guess we get them all. Seemed like it was a lot more we took off than we put it back on to me, but anyways. Alrighty then. Good to go. Right, what do we got? That sounds like a tractor. Yay! Tractor. Place the hitch in the tractor. Well, that's a different one. Client's asking for hitch to the tractor to be replaced. The hitch is broken. Oh, bother. Well, let's see what's the matter. This isn't really hitch stuff, but it's kind of the same area. It's probably these parts here. Or the cylinder. Or it could be just these lift parts, too. But I'm going to check everything. Not the shock absorbers. What's wrong with your hitch? Oh, it's all red. These are probably fine. All right, disassembly mode. Okay, uh, let's see what we can do with it here. Need some new bushings. Give us 234 for that. It's only 90 for this. Ooh. How can you replace a hitch for that? Um, okay, now I'm confused. Repair the hitch. No. How are you going to replace a hitch for $90? I'll trade this again. You're at client is asking for a hitch to be replaced. Budget is $90. But going to cost us $234 to repair it. Now I know there was something here um, and I haven't used it very much but it's um, well let's just uh, see how much the hitch costs on here. $300 on there. Oh boy. There's something and uh, like I say I can't remember where it was. These we can get rid of. That's from his tractor. So ninety dollars to replace a hitch. There, there is. There's a place like a bargain thing. I can't remember now. Oh, used, used tractor. Let's see. So if I can't find this here, what do I eat up the money? I mean, they still want 200. I don't have enough money for that. That doesn't make sense. Well, um, <laughs> what do we do here? He only gave us ninety dollars. Above eighty percent to be fully operational. So how the heck does this happen? See, I gotta fix it, but I fix it like to full. 
I guess. I don't know. We're losing money on this one. I don't know what to do with this one. This one's really weird. Uh, okay. There's your hitch that I just got ripped off on there, bud. Oh, yeah, we're going to lose money on this one. Whew. Get out of my shop. <laughs> I guess he got her fixed anyways. I like helping the customer, but holy cow, I don't want to be losing that kind of money. But. All right, let's see here. Client reporting voltage drop in the electrical system. Identify the problem. Ooh, fun ones. Fun ones. Okay, let's do some... Uh, well, let's check the battery first. It's good. There's no cables going to the battery, which is interesting. The alternator, which is good. The belt, which is good. Uh, okay. Starter cables, which are good. Now that's kind of a puzzly one. Voltage drops in the electrical system to identify the problem. Find the problem in the electrical system. Well, that's the only electrical systems that I know about. This is uh, not an electrical system, it's a fuel system there. What did they give us to repair a hundred dollars? Well, this is a confusing oh manual fuel pump. That really seems to have nothing to do with the electrical system, but Okay, maybe we'll try try that. The manual fuel pump is causing electrical system problems. I don't think that's the problem, but um, who knows? All right, let's see. Okay, that's a weird one. It says it's got electrical problems, but the manual fuel pump, which means it runs off the camshaft, or the crankshaft, probably the camshaft. Okay, oh, combine. Alright, this is job number 57. Client is asking for the timing belt to be changed along with the water pump. Oh, well, then we can do that. Timing belt. Let's do some checking here. Along with the water pump, which should be that, yeah. That should be the belt. Yes. Okay, so we got some disassembly here. Don't even have to drain it. Awesome. Oh, hoses, of course. Whoa, get back here. Okay, so he said replaced. Time. That's for time about to be changed along with the water pump. Okay, well. Don't think we can fix that timing belt. Um, timing belt for a combine. We'll have to buy a new one of them. So, combine harvesters. An engine. Bleed screws. Interesting. Timing belt for a hundred dollars. We have a fair bit of money there. So okay. Oh darn it! Now I gotta go back through this. So is there, an, is there a used one? Probably not, because our used one's probably about as bad as I used. Oh, let's just get a new one. Engine timing belt. Yes. Okay. Oh no! I don't want that side. I want the engine. All right. Oh, the other side here. Kind of all look the same to me for a second here. 
Water pump. Timing belt. Hoses. Radiator. And husk remover. All right, that should be it. And away we go. Away we go. Oh, another tractor. Yay, this is job number 58. Client is complaining, complaining, that the tractor won't start. Help him solve the problem. Okay, well, first of all, what I would check is to make sure that he has got the key in the ignition. No, check the battery. Oh, I didn't want to remove it. Oops. Oh, it's good anyways. Starter. Well, let's just check all this here. It's the alternator, of course. But it's part of that system. Although it could be a bad air filter. That's why it won't start. <laughs> Or it could be a bad fuel filter. It could be, it could be a lot of things. Okay, the starter seems good. It's actually probably a fuel system problem. Ignition cables could be. Oh, they're not good. Could be um, injectors too. plug cover. I will check fuel system stuff too here. And that all looks good. And we've got $180 to work with. So I just like to pop these covers off and check. Check glow plugs too. And they're all good. Okay, so we'll put those back on. Okay, ignition cables. Can we fix those? No, we can't. All right, so we need engine ignition cables. All right. Twenty-four percent. That's not too good. All right, that is a repaired tractor. Should be starting good now. All right, last couple of jobs here. Not doing too, too bad. Not too complicated. Oh, I got another combine in. <laughs> Locate and remove the problem. Client is complaining about knocks in the combine's wheels. All right. Maybe you got an unbalanced tire there, bud. We got a tire balancer. Everything seems good on that side. So far on this side is all good. What about, what about these ones? Interesting. I'm not finding any problems yet. Ah, a problem. And there, your ball joints have gone bad. All 
right now. I gotta somehow get that cylinder, steering cylinder's gotta come off. Kinda surprised it wasn't bad. I believe. Whoa, get back here. I think that's all that was wrong with it. So, let's see what we can do. How much money do we get for this one? $360. It's a pretty good one. Yes, and yes. Alright. Let's make sure everything else was fine there. I believe it was. Assembly mode. That's what I need. Oh, that's already on there. What am I doing? This side was the bad side. Good. And a tie rod. Our trans arm, they call it here. I guess that works too. All right, did that fix our problem? It sure did. All right, I guess we got one more job left. Or maybe we'll go to 65, what the heck. Let's go to 65. I'm not keeping track of numbers, really. <laughs> Repair everything that could be broken. Oh, this is a big job. Maybe we will wait till next time. Client is asking you to repair the ruin in front of you. <laughs> He's prepared to pay any amount of money because it is his grandfather's tractor. Oh boy. Well, let's today for say we look at what it all needs. And uh, then we'll fix her maybe next week. That all seems fine there. Oh, bad tire. Bad tire there. Probably needs a clutch. Needs an alternator. Battery's good though. Seventeen hundred and whatever it was, it must be a fair bit that needs done. That's not good. I have to check those glow plugs too, I think. Starter's junk. No, oh, it's good, surprisingly. Water pump. Belt. Alright, all I'm not seeing too much else that I haven't checked that needs done in here. Well, let's... Let's tear it apart here. Need 
needs an alternator, but the belt seemed good. All right, well, let's get this stuff fixed first here. Well, there's 600 something dollars right there. Oof, that ate up some money quick. The old ventilator. The V belt. Okay, that part should be good. I'm sure there's lots more. Yes, of course there is. It's his front wheel still. Probably just needs a balancing, hopefully. That's all that's wrong with this tractor. They think that's a mess. Ooh, they should have seen my two end. <laughs> that was a mess. Oh, boy. Tire balancer. Where was it? I just passed it, didn't I? Yes, I did. Get her balanced. All right. It's got to be something else that needs done on here, too, for that kind of money. I think that is going to give us like $500 just for that, for labor. Let's see. Yeah, there's something else. Okay. Let's check all these lovely things. So far, so good. I'd have to take the clutch all apart to find out there's nothing wrong with it, but we'll see what we can do. It's probably that. I imagine it's probably needing the clutch. And that piece, that'd be the expensive one there. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so let's take all this off. And then we'll have to get under here and take this arm off, uh, which is going to be here. This totally doesn't make sense. Anyways, we've had that problem before. Missing a cab too there, bud. That's going to be probably something you want to replace. I wish there was more of a thing that, you know, could tell me how much I was up to already. Like, it tells you this, but it should say, okay, I've done this, I've done this, this, this is what we're up to already. 1730, this will probably be what's remaining needing fixed. Okay, let's go put all this back together now, and hopefully... Hopefully that's everything. And good. And the wheel, of course, would definitely help for steering. And of course, the little driver plug. All right, what does that tell us now? Ooh, still something else. Oh my goodness. Oh, I hope it's not in transfer. So I'm gonna have to take it all that apart again. Let's have a look at the rear side here. Uh, that one's no good. Let's have a look at the other rear side. Ooh. That'll probably be all that's left wrong with it, is that mechanism there. And we'll just check all this while we're here. I think that's probably going to be it.
This would be a very expensive part. With very long bolts. I was going to save this one until next time, but oh, we're almost there. <laughs> we'll just fix her. Alright, let's repair the rear joint for $99. Ooh, not as much as I thought it would have been. All right, the huge long bolts again. Where would we be today without bolts? Or screw thingy, screw designs. Man, I don't know. All right, that doesn't get bolted on. That doesn't get bolted on. It's not very safe. But I guess the wheel bolts hold it all. Although technically that's screwing into nothing that's holding nothing. All right. Did we succeed? We have not succeeded yet. <laughs> what else could be wrong with it? The only other thing, well, let's check a few more of these parts. Everything else I think is good, but something else is wrong, and it's probably clutch. We'll end a bet. We'll see if we can do some examining without having to tear it all apart. That all seems good. Okay, let's um, put her up here. Maybe it needs oil change too. That might be what's wrong with it. Oil pan's no good. Okay, well, we gotta dump the oil out, I guess. Change the pan. Where? There's my Dewey way over there. Seems to get away on me. Oil pan is junk, eh? Hmm. Drain that out. Put some fresh oil in after we install a new pan. Awesome, an oil pan that only has four bolts. Not a bolt every inch around the whole pan. Alright, and there's... Nothing under there for engine. That's not too good, but okay. Oil pan. Repair that. Yes. Okay. So we can take this out here now. Come on, ratchet wrench. Get going. And the cap. All right, that can go down now. And we got to put some oil in it. Now, I don't know why I keep forgetting where the oil goes, but I think it's right here. Greasy used motor oil. Should do. Oh, now, oh, no, stay in there. Now I gotta check the oil. That's pretty good. It's within the spec. All right, is that good now? No, still something. Okay, so what else could be left? Did everything in there. Everything's there. The only thing I can think is, uh, clutch. Which means we've got to take all this all off again here. Don't you just love it? 
to uh, get that uh, clutch taken apart in the gearbox out. It's probably something. Uh, that's the only thing that's left, unless it's under here. Maybe I should just check those glow plugs before we get tearing apart too far here. Boy, this tractor was pretty much needing everything. Okay, let's do some condition checking. These are probably all good, but it's probably going to be clutch. And it is clutch. Okay. All right, well, we'll keep disassembling here, I guess. Let's make sure. Well, we got parts off it, I guess, right now. So, okay. So that's good. We got to take... Oh, you know what? Just hang on a sec here. Let's just put all this back together for me. I didn't put that steering radius arm back on from before. Might have just missed that. Because I forgot that has to go back on from uh, the side here, I believe. The wheel, yeah. That could be what all it was. But if it's not, we got to take all this off again and get into that clutch. Okay, let me just make sure I don't have any extra parts. These are junk parts, so we'll sell, sell. Nope, we gotta get into a clutch. Okay. Yeah, because we checked everything up on these on the front. Okay, well. Hopefully I get in here and that's what's wrong with it because you can't tell until you get into there. Something tells me we're going to be not making money off of this one. Take this all off. Should have done that, I guess, while we had her in. Now, I, th for some reason, can't remember, but I think we got to take all those off, too. I just don't really remember now, so I'm going to throw her up in the air. Oh, oh. I must have missed my bucket. Oh, yes, we can do that. With okay. Let's go take all the shifters and everything out. Must not have had my bucket in the right spot for the oil. Whoops. Sorry, floor. Okay, let's condition check here. See what we can find. Bet you there's clutch problems. some other discs in behind here. I don't know if I can quite get to them. Well, that's all right. Oh, everything's fine in there. Everything else I've taken off is fine. Oh boy, what is going on with this one then? So everything seems all good there. And 
check that manifold though. I wonder. Well, let's. Uh, we know this is all good, so. Boy, I thought for sure this thing would have had a bad clutch. But apparently, I was not correct on that. So, something else we're missing here. What else could it possibly be? What else could it be? Okay, well... Need to assemble it before you can test it. I don't think that's all that was holding us up, but... Uh, you never know. Steering arm, and then this arm has to go through there. And that seems all good. Now, what do I have? Any parts left? No, everything's empty. Well, I'm going to see if it'll... I guess maybe that's all it was. I don't know. It doesn't, didn't tell me I needed to do that, but I bet you maybe that's it. Maybe. That's what I thought about the clutch, too, but this might be it. <laughs> do a test drive. Make sure she drives right. If, if we can here. All right. Test drive. We'll see how it's working. Seems like it's steering really good. Do a brake test, even though I don't think there's really any brakes that we could service on these. That worked pretty good. That seemed to work pretty good. I can't believe that clutch was fine. That seemed odd. That's the suspenders. Look at them working. Oh, they separate and everything really nice there. Super, super good. Test the steering, and that seems to be good. Something tells me, like I say, we're not going to make too much money off of this one. So I presume we found everything now. I don't think there's really anything left. It's too bad we'd tear all the clutch apart, but that wasn't too bad. It was a good experience. Alright, turn to the garage. Yes, please. Now. Was that successful? Yay! Order 60. Alright, that is it for today. That one took a long time, but. He'll be all proud of his tractors, Grandpa's tractors, all fixed for him now. So that's awesome. We'll just look at the 61 here, I guess, and that's what we'll take off next time. Perform an inspection of the electrical system and replace necessary cables. 
Fine, as you're complaining about the problems with the electrical system, the wiring is su suspected. Check it. All right, well, we'll get into that next time. We get together for doing some farm sim mechanic. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.